3D Timon and Pumbaa from The Lion King acrylic nail art tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Hi everybody! In today's video I'm going to be showing you a Timon and Pumbaa nail art design where Timon is standing on Pumbaa's head. And I love this little setup that they have. In fact, I painted a pair of shoes with Timon and Pumbaa on it just like this about a year ago. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll put a link to that as well as all my previous Lion King videos in the description box below. So check those out if you've missed any. And don't forget to click subscribe to see all my future videos as well. I'm going to begin with an overlay of a light blue acrylic, just like I did with my Simba nail. A lot of times when I'm doing these nails, I make sure that my background colors are complementary or the same. That way the nails look like they go together. And especially with these two, because I eventually turned them into a pair of earrings. And so I wanted the background colors to be the same so that they go together as a little set. That's one thing that a lot of people ask me what I do with my nail designs after I've done with, I'm done with them, because... For the most part, I just make all these nails for these videos and just for my own personal enjoyment. You guys have no idea how much utter joy I get out of making these nails. It's like the highlight of my day usually. Well, of course, Melody's the highlight of my day, but it's the next highlight of my day. And so I am just glad that people watch the videos. I can't imagine if I didn't have that as my excuse to keep doing them, I would probably go nuts. So thank you guys. But um, yeah, so I make things out of these nails. I use them as rings. I make earrings out of them. Some of them just end up in a jar and all of that. But I do like to use them for other things. So anyways, now that I have my nail all filed into shape, it was encased in clear, all of that fun stuff, I'm going to go through and start sculpting Pumbaa at the tip of the nail. So one of my favorite things about, or favorite mental images I have of Pumbaa and Timon is when Timon is standing on Pumbaa. That's like the best part ever. So that's what I wanted to do for this. Plus it fits really well on my nice, really long nail tip. So I've got Pumbaa and I'm going to just start sculpting him with a nice rich brown acrylic. First, I just added kind of a very thin, basic shape for him, and then I started building off of that. That's the way that I like to do my characters. I don't like to try to finish one area at a time, usually. Sometimes I do, but a lot of times I like to kind of add just like a base layer and then bring it out from there. So I've got his head, his snout, his ears, but then I'm going to add a second layer to his snout, this time with a light peach color, because his very tip of his nose is a peachier, warmer creamy color kind of like I don't know, light pink would also work if you don't have a peach color acrylic as that is setting take a little dotting tool and dip that into some clear acrylic and then push that into that peach color to create his nostrils I also use that peach color a little bit in his ears just to add that little inner ear area then I'm going to take a pale yellow and add his tusk the reason I use pale yellow is because I didn't have the right kind of cream color and this was the closest thing that I had just on hand that was easy access so that's what I did, but if you guys have like an off-white or a beige, a really light beige, I would use that instead. That would be a slightly better option if it's something that you've got available to you. So add his tusk. If your nail is wider, then you would have room to add his other tusk coming out the other side, but my Pumba went all the way off the edge of the nail pretty much, so I didn't have room to add the tusk that's behind his snout. So that depends on what kind of nail canvas you're working on. Add some more brown acrylic anywhere you need to. I kind of thickened up his chin area quite a bit because he's got that nice really protruding chin area so I made sure that was thick enough to create that strong presence and added a little bit more acrylic right kind of on the area of his mouth that goes up over the tusk to kind of create that little lip there. And then I'm going to be sculpting Mr. Timon sitting on top of Pumbaa's head. And for that I used a beige color that I thought was I do have a beige, obviously I'm using it now, but I thought it was too dark for his tusk and I didn't want Timon and the tusk to be the same color and match. So that is where the whole yellow came into play. But I'm going to be sculpting Timon. Obviously he is really tiny considering how much space we have to work on, but you are going to sculpt the entire little Timon there where it comes in as far as doing like all of his details. I would definitely recommend doing that with acrylic paint instead of with the liquid powder system because it's so small and you should hopefully, I mean, depending on what your skill set is, but I personally have a lot more control with the little details with paint rather than acrylic powder and liquid. So I have his head, his little arms, his body. With black acrylic, or with um, black acrylic, I added his little nose and his ears. And I also took a little bit of kind of a bright coral color and I added a tuft of hair on the top of his head. So just a little tiny bit of fluff on the top of his head with that. Then like I said with black I'm going to be adding his nose. Just tiny little beads of color. If if you're wondering how you can get these tiny beads of color without them just turning into mush, if you just very gently barely dip your brush into your dappen dish you're going to get the right amount of monomer. 
Otherwise, what I do is I actually tap my brush on the side of my jar, kind of away from actually where the liquid is in the jar, because I've always brushed my, I tap my brush off on the edge, and there's just this little residue on the edge, and that's going to give you the right amount to pick up these teeny tiny beads of acrylic. So now going to my acrylic painting element of this design, with a darker shade of brown, I added the darker colors of Timon's fur, and then I'm going to take some black outlines, and I'm going to be doing all sorts of outlinings on Pumbaa. So just go through, and anywhere you feel it needs to have an outline, add it, and so just keep going through, adding outlines here and there, wherever you think that they are necessary. So I added all kinds of outlines, kind of just everywhere he has a shape change, and these characters have so much expression on them that I wouldn't be too afraid to add plenty of outlines on them. And the other thing you need to add to Pumbaa at this point is his little mane because I did not do that with acrylic. So that, and you can if you want, if you did it with acrylic then obviously you did it at that point and not now, but you need to add his mane kind of sneaking in behind Timon. I highlighted his tusk with some diluted white that gives me the, the lighter creamy color that I was looking for. I added his little eyes with yellow. Add you know his eyebrows and all of that there's his mane you kind of have to work it around to moan and so that works for sure but you just have to keep that in mind that that is still needed so just keep going through and adding details where you need to little things here pupils where they are required little highlights in his eyes these characters are really small so however much detail you can fit in is great if there's just an area where like you know what i know there should be a line there but it's so small i'm just gonna forget it that's fine too on timon you're or yeah timon what am i talking about on timon you're gonna want to add darker brown yet little highlights or details on him he's got some stripes on his back the tip of his tail is a darker brown the areas around his eyes are a darker brown so add all of those little whites in his eyes Little outlines on him do with the darker brown instead of with black. You don't want them to look too heavy on him. Keep him a little bit lighter in general than Pumbaa. Then apply some gel sealer over the background to make that light blue really shiny. And then some matte top coat over these two crazy characters. And that is it. If you guys missed my Simba tutorial from yesterday, I will put a link to it in the description box below, as well as some past Lion King videos. I have a few of them, so any of those I will also link in the description box, so check those out. Thank you so much for watching and taking me in any recreations. I'd love to see them. I will see you in my next video. Bye!